your original hometown dealer, Saida, Trudeau, Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, and Ram. Yeah, we just started last Monday, had opening day. Um, we've been hearing a lot of budget um, from all the different agencies um, and actually starting to, to get our bills put together. Um, I've got a little bit of attention on my voter ID bill because the language is out on that. Um, and actually been getting some really positive feedback. There was a uh, poll done by the Nevada Independent uh, that showed only 8% of Nevadans actually oppose my bill. So uh, I thought that was very encouraging and um, that, you know, we're, we're hitting the ground running and, and seeing what we can get accomplished this session. My approach was to try to keep it simple. Um, I looked at where Nevada already implements uh, a form of voter ID and that's that same day voter registration. So if you're not registered, you can go vote on the same day and register. You just have to bring your, your Nevada DMV issued license or your tribal issued license. And so I'm like, we should just do that for everyone. Clerks know how to do it. The election officials know how to use it. Um, and so that was my approach, is to, to use what's already in place, something that was actually supported by the other side of the aisle. Um, so, because I, I want to make this bipartisan. The other uh, part of my bill that I did was is actually increasing the penalties for somebody that does commit voter fraud. Um, I believe it should be a felony. We just saw an individual enter in a plea deal where it became a misdemeanor in community service, and I don't think that's right. I think that it absolutely should be a felony on your record if you commit uh, voter fraud. And so we've we've added that to to my my bill. So I've got uh, about 10 bills right now that I'm working on. Some of my priorities are for the veterans. Uh, I've got a free parking bill um, for the Purple Heart veterans, the Gold Stars, and the Bronze Stars. Um, and so I've carried that last session. I'm, I think I've got a lot of good support this session to get that through. Um, and then I've got, um, there's another veterans bill that I'm working on uh, co-sponsoring. And um, so all of our uh, committee hearings uh, and the floor sessions are actually on uh, YouTube. Um, as well as our legislative website. And I find YouTube's a little bit more user-friendly. Um, but yeah, and then I'm gonna start doing some live town halls uh, starting February 22nd. Um, you can follow my email distribution, go to my website, sign up, um, and you'll get all the links or follow me on social media. I'm back on Twitter uh, now that uh, Elon Musk has taken over and, and started to allow people back on his platform. Uh, decided to get back on there, uh, Facebook, Instagram, um, or you can reach out to my office at any time. It's on the state website. Um, email me, call me anytime. Uh, try to respond to you in a timely manner. We're th had three or one weekend, but I've been up there for the last three weeks sitting through budget presentations. And uh, it's just, it's really nice to be home this weekend. Uh, flew in for the Lincoln Day dinner that the uh, Prump Women's Group uh, put together and just absolute awesome event with Mark Amaday, um, my good friend, the, the Nevada State Comptroller, Andy Matthews is here, um, as well as a few other of my friends. And so it's just great to be home for the weekend. And you know, during the, the shutdown, the lockdown, whatever you want to call it, uh, a lot of people are reaching out to me to, to help them get through their unemployment. Um, I know that there's going to be some SNAP benefit issues that are about to come forward and, and expire. And so, I, you know, my, myself and my office are here to help. So anybody needs anything at the state level, uh, more than glad to help. And even at the federal level, we refer them to either Mark Amaday or uh, Stephen Horsford, um, try, to, try to get them where they need to go, whether it's veterans or, or unemployment, we're, we're here to help.